gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique house. It's your boy ECO. And I'm Money Moses, by the way, and we create content every damn day. Yo, 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 man. Check it, man. Hey, man. We in the building. We out here at Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And uh, we got a special sure. guest here today, y'all. He really don't need no introduction. This guy right here. Uh, been on the show multiple times. One of the guys that blessed the platform always. When I call him, he always answer. He always come through. He always call and check on the show, man. Yes, sir. Been down hey, my A1 since day one, as Are them here, niggas man. might say, man. Yes, Holla at your boy. It's a unique hustle, man. Hey, that boy, man. Dallas P is next to me, nigga. Yep. Dallas P in the building. Hey, man, what's up? It's good to be here. You know what I'm saying? I've been rocking with you since day one, and you've been rocking with me. So, man. Yeah, you here, man. So, hey, man, yeah. killing these boys. Hurt, hitting them where it hurt. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Man, it's Texas talk, man. Uh, man, so what's been going on, man? What's been going down, man? Tell man. me, man. You know, we just been back moving and grooving. So, you know, we had a little bit of moving, a little bit of traction. COVID killed it, and then it's just back to the grind again. So it was just repeating and picking up back where we left off and still pushing, man. That's all it is. Just don't ever stop pushing. Every time you get knocked down, get back up. Man, just one of them extraordinary guys. Resilience is what he just, just spoke about. You know what I'm talking about? Man, so how's it been, man? I know you had that hit early on with uh, yeah. uh, 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 Mike Jones. Yeah. Y'all, y'all had it. How's yeah. that thing going? Y'all so, still talking? Uh, yeah, I, still, I mean, I still rock and have conversations with Mike every now and then, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, me, I have to brand and do my own thing, you know what I'm saying? Branch out. And so Mike kind of gave me that little bit of platform and, you know what I'm saying, rocking with him, gave me a lot of game, a lot of information, you know, things yeah. that in the music industry as a you know young artist that you don't really get, you know what I'm saying, early on so I was fortunate enough to have that and him lace me up on a lot of game what the peep game and look for look out for you know what I'm saying one of his biggest things is peep game maintain lane so I never let it knock me off my path I'm right here got my vision to set where I'm going yeah hey, what, what's the biggest thing he ever told you or the biggest thing he ever told you stuck in your head of that right there peep game maintain lane there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna come across your path that's gonna try to knock you off and trying to get you going in a different direction that's gonna try to interview with you know like come in and mess up your vision and, and say, hey, when you go here, when you do this, you should already have your goals, your focus, your set, but just use that and still, even though you're doing what over here, just like I'm still on this pathway, I'm, I'm gonna entertain, I'm gonna listen to what you are, I'm gonna let you, you know what I'm saying, play yourself out and realize, hey, you on some, you know, you're, on, you're really on some fuck shit, but I'm just gonna keep, I'm gonna let you do it and make you think you're listening, but I'm still here, I'm still coming this way, you ain't knocking me off my, my train of thought, my pathway at all. Already, man. Uh Man, you know, I, I just sit back and I think about some of the stuff that goes on, man, in the music industry. Mm -hmm. How do you like what's going on in Dallas with the music, man? It's a wide open lane, as I always say. <clears throat> I mean, I love the city. I love what we got here. I just, I think we need more. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's, I love what you're doing here. You, you're, you're creating culture, creating the foundation of things that probably should have been done in the past, but nobody's been really enough to do it so it's it's i love dallas and i love the artist the talent i just feel like we don't all work together as a core you know it's like everybody from your engineer to your producer to your promoter to your videographer everybody needs they just out to win and hustle and get over somebody everybody just needs to come together because we're the forfeit strongest market in the whole america so why we why is atlanta and chicago and you know what i'm saying la and New York, when we got so much talent here, we got so much people that buy music, that buy concerts, why we gotta go somewhere else? No, I agree totally, man. I think I think you hitting it on, you hitting every cylinder, you know what I mean? Uh, just looking at, you know, the way that, you know, I've seen the development of the city, man. You got a lot of people here that, like I said, I've been preaching it, I'm gonna continue to preach it, man. There's a lot of people that I don't think get their just due for one, but then I also know that there's a, a, a gap, a missing gap where labels are concerned, where yep. the infrastructure is concerned, where people run here and there instead of running to each other. This city right here is a major, major, as you say, major city, and there's no reason why we shouldn't have had the resources by now yep, here. And it's not on nobody else, it's on us. Well, some people have a platform, but it's like, hey, what do you, you're not really 
supporting this artist is just like, hey, what is this payola over in the table? They take or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And then it's like, no, nah, to me, it's like, hey, you from Dallas. I believe in your shit. It's hard or not. If it ain't hard, I ain't fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care if you pay me or not. I'm not fucking with your shit if it ain't hard. But if it's hard and it's from my city, I'm pushing this. I'm pushing this like I'm pushing Pete. I'm pushing this. Real pushing this. So it don't matter. I'm not saying you don't take care of your DJs. Don't take care of whoever. It's like, yeah, I was like, all right, cool. Take care of them. But they should be pushing it just as hard because it's from their city as they would push something that they got down from the label. They should be pushing something that, from here, from the city, even harder, I feel like. Man, dope, dope, dope. Man, you know, like I say, this this old Louisiana boy here, you know, you know, Pimp C, mm. ESG, just to name a few, few that, that, that we always rock with Louisiana. Texas and Louisiana like yeah. brothers. Right? It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's the great markets, but they hard to break out of, really, because you got to get it about it. Texas and Dallas to really go, you know what I'm saying? We can actually, we have enough music, really, like enough. We can make, we Mo3 went platinum right here, you know what I'm saying? By in his own market, but as far as to get it up out the city, it's one of the hardest to really get up out, like, and go all over the country, you know what I'm saying? It's Why do you think that is? Uh, because really, I don't really want to say it like this, but I feel like uh, Dallas is, we, it's my city, but like, they, they just follow a lot of trends, really. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we have enough culture and stuff to set our own trends, but we follow a lot of trends from other people, even though, like, we've created a lot of things and people take that from us, but we, we just follow a lot of trends from other uh, from other cities and the stuff like that. It's like, yeah. like, we follow what Drake or whoever is, you know what I'm saying? They telling us, like, hey, if like, like, I have the same issue right now with the radio. Like, we, we added, these the DJs, every DJ in the city spinning us, you know what I'm saying? But they're like, hey, well, this is the hottest record in the streets, but it's like, okay, why they not really pushing in and putting everything all the way full on mix show and going? Because every DJ in the streets telling them, every one of their mixers saying, play this, play this, play this, play this. So why are we not playing? Well, well we got to play, you know, Beyonce's new song. Like, no, we should be pushing Dallas just as hard as that. What is the problem? Why have the radio stations forever uh kind of ra I, I know it's because of the money right that other people are paying the major marketing nah. it's got to be something why don't they play nah. local music because in houston they play a lot of local music i'm telling you dallas is one of the hardest to, to do but it's really they just they don't want to their ratings they're worried about their ratings and so they want to do what basically everybody else is doing and they know hey this record is already hot this record is we've been told is hot and they just going off of it they don't want to break new music and that's what to me, I feel like that's what uh, we got. We got some. We got some. You know, play on like on K one hundred four right now. They they playing us, but like ninety seven nine, they have like a little more of a system. So like, if you go, uh, you know, like K one hundred four, I got a got us a radio rep that goes in there, and every month he gonna be like, hey, here's Dallas P's record. Here's Dallas P's record. We already got DJs that are spinning it. Hit that hole. He's on it. You know what I'm saying? He's spinning it. Some of the other DJs, they all in the meeting. They have a music meeting, and once a month they raise their hands like, hey. You know, we got FNF, do we want to put her on there? You know what I'm saying, Glorilla, do we want to put her on the record? We got so-and-so, we got Dallas Peak. Every mixer on there say, hey, we like that record, we playing it, we out here in the streets, it's here in the streets, we playing it. When it gets up to the top, top people's like, ah. So 97.9 has a different way, and what they do is they, they go to ear to the streets with Hollywood A, and so it's like, hey, if we get enough traction off of that, then we'll, uh, we'll put it at the new attempt. And then at the new attend, if you get the new attend, which we did well on that, so it looks like we're probably gonna get mix show. So then you get mix show. It's not just like everybody voting on it and then say Psh, one guy says no. It's like they kind of test it out and see how the streets fuck with it. Wow. Yeah. That's, what, that's what it should be for all of us. That's the way it should be. Yeah. Not just for just for who says so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It should be the streets, really. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's why it should be the streets. But even if you get all that, you still got to go viral and go, you know what I'm saying, be social media wise. So, that, you know, that's just a small percentage of, point of it. So, so where you do know. you start? So, I, I feel like a record starts. Um, if I was to tell any artist, is go to Vertigo, blast it out. And if you want to know if your music's hot or not, go to Vertigo. Vertigo is every DJ, a lot of DJs get their music from there. So normally it used to be labeled, now everybody can go to there, but I had probably 5,000 DJs. One out of five stars, I got all five stars on every one. So I know that this is a DJ, it's not my homeboy, it's not boss talk, it's not somebody else saying, hey, I, I fuck with you, P. This is somebody that ain't know me, that just listen to music for a living. They say, hey, this is five stars, rate, boom, send me a message, and like, hey, here it is. I did over like 100 something drops. 
So that tells me, hey, this record's hard. If I get three stars, one star, nah, that's not probably not the record I want to push or put no marketing behind because that record ain't there. So I'd say start there in distributing the streets because if you ain't got, you still got to go social media and if you can go viral, it's just a catching the lightning in a bottle, but you still got to get the streets on it. So I've been in the clubs, I've been in the strip clubs, so every DJ is still spinning square right now two, three times a night. Just boom, constantly programming it so people are hearing it. So that's worked as well to the radio. So now the radio and the streets are playing it. So now it's like getting to go TikTok, getting to go viral and stuff like that. So that's the next step. And then you got to get your bloggers. You got to get everybody. So every time somebody gets out their car, they hear it. They get in their car, listen to the radio. They go in the club. They go across their news feed. They hear it. Damn, there's this TikTok. Like, oh, damn, who the fuck is Dallas P? Let me go see. You know what I'm saying? That's how it works. How I, I, last time you was here, we we know I li- You sent me the Erica Banks song. I loved the, the song. Um, what? How did you feel like? Did y'all y'all released it? Yeah. How did you feel like now. it? How did you feel like it done for you? How it did? As far as the streets and everything, loved it. Um, I had some TikTok that, that started going on it, and it's really just it's all has to do with marketing. that's behind it. You know what I'm saying? It's. The streets, I got it hot. This I feel like it's one of the hottest records in the streets right now. Like it's it's, it's one of the hottest streets in Dallas. And so it's it's got to go. You know what I'm saying? Uh, marketing wise, of you know everybody seeing that record. You know what I'm saying? Like you, it don't matter if you can just be hot in Dallas, but they still it's got to get up out of Dallas. It's got to be heard everywhere in Atlanta. It's got to be heard. And the only way it is is to go viral. So we haven't got the record to go viral yet. We haven't done any really marketing behind it. Things that they're marketing with people, they didn't do their job. So, uh, you know, you got to be on playlist. You got to be on, you know what I'm saying, uh, YouTube ads. You got to be on, you know what I'm saying, BET. You got to be on a lot of other things so people can see and hear your music. Because if not, like, I mean, I got several hundred thousand streams. You know what I'm saying? I got people hearing my music. I got 15,000 sh- Shazams on the thing. So it's not telling me that people are not listening to it because they, uh, hey, what's the song on the radio? They're picking it up and Shazamming it. So they listening to the song. So it's really got to go viral for it to really catch. And so we had some, uh, and that's all in the marketing. I've been working on that, and I got a plan for it. So, well, what, song, what song you got spinning now in the club? What's that? What that, song you got now playing in the club? That's, that's a song that we've been working. Squirt has been, like I said, been out going on. What, five, what's six the name months. of the song? Squirt. Wow. Dallas P. Erica Banks. Yeah, and and I, I like uh, I like that. I like the way that you rolled it out. That was a thing because you know I'd be frustrated with you because I just want to roll everything out and just push yeah. it. No, you you're right. I, I just hired a new manager too. I'll be me. like, I don't be wanting to. I be want. I want more content. You're right. I just had. You heard me. You heard me. How I was arguing with them about content because yeah. they was talking about uh, one of the guys who I consider a legend, and it was <clears> like he this, he that, and I don't go by those rules no more. Those yeah. rules aren't the same as they used to be back in the day. No, the, the rules have changed. The 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 mark has moved. A man that may be sixty. Uh, maybe 30 It don't matter how old he is It's how consistent And how much content He put out And is yeah. he good Yeah Is he I'm good with enough I want you Yeah if, if he's good enough If he works enough You might have yourself a problem I'm being yeah. real Yeah Cause the world Can look at it now And they, and they don't need Nobody's permission To look at it sure. Well it's a It's an algorithm It's like Even if you're on Spotify And I'm getting all these streams If they don't have Nothing to go after that, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's right. You know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, what is this this song? And I ain't got nothing else to push after it. Then, so yeah, that's that that that's a part of it. But what my marketing thing was when I first did it was like, let me break a song and break out really as an artist because I don't want to push a lot of my music out here. And my mind was like, push a lot of music out here. and I don't have the real fan base behind it. But I mean, I got Dallas. You know what I'm saying behind it. But it's really now I now I need more. So like, we're dropping a new record in a couple weeks, in two weeks. We're dropping a record, and like I got a whole another thing that I'm actually working on right now is on the way here. A whole rec- a whole new record. That oh I'm yeah, using. it's gonna be. I can give you a sneak. Th- okay, all right. Let's go there. So we ain't gonna do too much, but who is who? Do you say is the biggest out of Dallas? The biggest, most sold or streamed record ever out of Dallas? Damn, stream. So you because you give me stream soul is the biggest. Give me even looked on YouTube right now. Damn, yeah, and, and and this including everybody. Everybody, I'm Erica Badu. Think so? She way up there, cause I would tell you this. He's white. He, I was gonna say that. Paul, Post Malone. No. 
I was gonna he say white, that, like, a rapper. Yeah. Oh, Vanilla Ice. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, yeah. So that's where we, what we, what we about to do, try to do is like, not that it is, but uh, a lot of things being sampled. But now. people forget that so, Dallas, uh, that that, that, that Vanilla Ice is yeah. from Dallas. Cause well, I got the whole LA. thing is all I'm doing is everything. If you look at something, I'm only doing people from Dallas. So I got like probably 10, 15 features. I'm only doing stuff with Dallas. So I'm not gonna like. I'm just gonna sample that doom 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 doom, but in a new trap beat. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, and that's, that's I'm not putting Vanilla Ice on. I might put him in the video, but I'm just gonna re, like sample that. He got that sample from somebody. Uh, I forgot who it was, but just use that. Sample he's in part. Dallas. Yeah, he's he's from Dallas. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I, I need yeah. to yeah. get him on ball. I need to get him on ball. I, I ain't reached out to him, but I my thing is I'm gonna reach out to him. I ain't even reached out to him. What I want to do is I'm gonna sample him, and what what I want to do is I'm gonna put him in the video. And you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be dope ass video because I wanted to have basically him, his girl, or something. Tell him get out the house. He walk outside. Doom, 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 doom. He's like, man, not this again. <laughs> yeah. Pull up in the ice cream truck. Yeah. yeah, I'm outside. You know what I'm saying? He driving the ice cream truck. We, you know what I'm saying? He go yeah, go to hit the hit the thing and ding ding. Instead instead of being ice cream sound, it is, and then we handing out. You know, ice to all the kids. You know, what I'm saying? you're just so speaking be, it into right, fruition. Yeah, it's so, a, it's into yeah, we're gonna hear. You're gonna, gonna hear. It. Watch, you're gonna want to do it. Watch. Yeah, you're gonna yeah. want to do it. I didn't even know he was in Dallas. I'm about to go mm. get that boy. I didn't oh, realize. Nothing, but you know what I'm saying, right? That that right there is like, why not pay homage to it and bring it back? And it's from the city. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to big tuck. And that's why he realized what I'm doing. Anytime I call, he's gonna answer. Little Ronnie, the same. I go like, I got things with Fat Young, and I got. Baby Young, anybody that's from Dallas, that's Erica Banks. Like, I'm just doing things. I could go get features from anybody else. I'm doing it from Dallas because I want to put on for Dallas for the city. And I'm going to do a whole song when I get get this thing up. I'm going to, hey, I'm from Dallas. Represent the D. And I'm Dallas. Ask about P. And I'm going to put everyone. And everybody's going to come on, do their four bars. Whether it's do the stank leg, Oak Cliff, that's my hood. I'm going to put it on so people remember back. It's like, oh, damn, that was from Dallas. Damn, Dallas had this. So that's what I want to do is just like, Put the shine back on the city. That's all my my whole goal is. Not Don't forget me. about DOC formula. All right, all right. Well, you ain't heard it. You see, they be young. They don't mm -hmm. be knowing, man. Damn, I'm old. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, I'm old as hell. Yeah, man. Young, I'm just old. But at any rate, man, when you think about just the whole movement of of how you know things are going in the industry, I have to ask you these questions because I'm asking yeah. everybody these questions. Um, this doesn't concern you uh but different things that go on like the guy that got shot and killed the day before mm, yesterday yeah, well that was t. yesterday wasn't it yeah did you see not the big t video, not right? the big t one no okay so I, I got the big t one um the, the one in la where he was in the restaurant oh yeah uh p uh p and b yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah um that was crazy man they yeah, yeah. but i was just at that restaurant i was too i was there a week ago exactly and and but that, that's the one. Uh, that that's the one, man. You went to. Yeah. yeah, man. You yeah, went to yeah. where you were just wearing, wearing whatever you wanted to wear. I all blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was there. We I we was, was there, there. And 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 it's crazy because you just never know. Like, yeah, that's what? why you be careful, man. Really, uh, I don't drop my location until after I'm already out there. Me too. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got you got to be careful because I mean, it's, you got to be people be. Think people wrong for being paranoid, but I just rather be I paranoid. Don't drop than location safe. at all. So, I man, mean, so it don't matter. You ain't got to drop location. Somebody can say, "Damn, that's some Rogie's chicken." <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? And like the pull up, so it ain't got to be a location. Don't eat. I don't even post nothing until I'm out it. Well, Me I too. I don't post until probably a week later. Oh, but, I don't know. He really on it. Yeah, I'm here. I would say I would do that, but I, I, I you know, three, four, hour, three, a few hours later, I might. But post I hear something, people you know saying? Um, saying that it could have been somebody local that said yeah, that. Man, up you too. never know. You, you know just never saying? know. It could have been somebody at the restaurant call would be like, Correct. "Hey, you know, so and so's in he here, up man. Here. He up here." You know, I'm on. like, yeah, you never know. But to be honest with you, social media gave it away because I, yeah. I used to be in the streets, so I know, yeah. I know how to get drop on people. Social media gave it away. Yeah, I mean, it, I, that's for everybody. Yeah, give you away, bro. They don't understand in, in some of y'all phones that y'all locations on. You can go on your phone in your app, Snapchat, and find the location. All that fine, yeah, with some of yes, that. all that's in there, bro. I got all mine cut off. It don't matter. They still can get it. Yep, the, your, your location has to be off in your phone, not on the apps. Oh, yeah, that you cut it off, then you can't. I thought find about it. that too. I, that's mm -hmm. something I used to do all the time, and I never could find out. Yeah, I don't I was, share my location with nothing. Like no. where I was going, it's you know? totally off. Yeah. So the location yeah. always out. It's always 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 gotta be always. So they know where I'm at. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you. I didn't see people stuff, so I know you ain't lying. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's sad, bro. You see the thing in Big T? Hell yeah, I seen that. Yeah, did you see the video? It was that came gruesome. Out today? 
No. Uh -uh. And they actually showed the whole thing on, on full camera. You dude can see. walked up. There was three dudes that walked up. And on one, one dude that was standing there, the dude in blue shorts. And, like, he got all three of them. He, the one, he popped him in the head, but he shot all three of them. The two dudes that you seen on the video that are sitting over there on the side, they got hit in the hip and got whatever. They, he got all three of them. They walked did up he, on him. I think he was self-defense, really. The way it looked like, they were all three kind of charged up on him. And he, doom, and they doom, had, doom. they had, they had, th they had some. I mean, it, it looked, it, I mean, they could say. I see Martin run right. away and come back. Who? Yeah, that was, but see, he, if you go, I'll send you the video later. But if you see, he like, they all three kind of pushed him up towards the corner. And then, I don't know, somebody reached and dude spun and he popped the dude first in the black shirt. And then there was a dude in a white, white and white or something like that. He, uh, he, that was the dude that was running that was kind of limping or whatever. And then the dude in the red shorts ran and then went over to the side. So it looked like he got all three of them the way. Did the way he get hit or so he didn't get hit? He didn't get hit. He took off. He was gone. <laughs> they, that, those are the, the, the two dudes that are sitting there. The one that's dead and the two dudes that are sitting on the side. They were the three dudes that charged up the dude in the blue shorts that shot the shooter. Damn, man. So he finna get off on self-defense for something uh, stupid. I mean, he could depend. I mean, they try to know. Like, hey, you a felon with a gun. You did this. I mean, this, yeah. This. And you know, they're they they going to charge with the gun. Whoever. You no, know? They, they're going to charge you with the it gun. It really depends what the situation was. It depends on who talks, what situation. Was he like, shouldn't say nothing at all? Yeah, I quiet. mean, yeah, but the video man. show it all. Yeah, yeah, but, it's crazy, man. It's yeah. crazy how fast things are moving, bro. The, but you always gotta be ready. You never know. Exactly. But they, always. You. That's why you don't go messing with certain people and try to. You know what I'm saying? You. You don't know who you messing with. Bro, so. You shouldn't mess with nobody today because these young people don't understand. Don't know. Y'all young already. Y'all can have y'all license for these guns. So y'all don't have to carry these guns illegally. You don't have to have a license. As long as you ain't got a felony, you're over 21, you ain't got to have no license. You can carry this right here on your hip. You All the time. You good. I'm ready to go. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got ain't nothing. nothing they can do but just respect. Nope. Yeah, there ain't That's nothing. It. So Unless you committing a crime, then you. <laughs> but who's saying I'm committing a crime? Exactly. Prove that in the court of law. Exactly, man. You know, you just one of those guys that I enjoy talking with and, and just chilling with, man. Every time, man. So, what do you think about Big Extra Plug? Mm. I don't really know, man. You like never that. listened to him? I, I mean, no, I've heard him, heard little things, but yeah, I, I mean, uh, what's that one song that? Uh, uh, Big Pop, uh, Big Step? Yeah, uh, the Pop uh, one. Big uh, Step? No, that's not it. That's not uh, it? Man, it's, he think Gucci's on it, right? I don't know. I ain't heard. You got uh, one with Gucci? I feel like I think that's the one that I heard with Gucci. I don't think I'm with Gucci. No, no hell no. Ain't got nothing with Gucci. I think I will see you. if I'm if I'm if I'm wrong. But now I'm you don't. Now now you talking about Hot Boy West got one with, nah, with Gucci? No, nah, Hot Boy West. No, there's no one. But you think Big, he got one? I don't I, know. I think I think oh, I might have heard. It. I have to look. I have to look. But uh, look and see if you I'm see that. See Cause that'd be right dope. Now. I love to hear that collab. Yeah, really, that would I, be dope. That would be hard. You you had him on. Yeah, uh, yeah, early yeah, on, yeah. early uh, on. I talked to him the, uh, the other week. I feel like I feel like that was the one that I heard. Like, really, I like to hear that. And I ain't know he had one with that boy. That's a that's serious. Yeah, anything with Gucci is serious. Who would you like to work with? If Who, it, me? Yeah, anybody else that uh, you could pick out of I mean, Drake? There we go. Oh, no, really? Um, I would I would work with Drake first off. You know what I'm saying, Doctor Drake? Yeah, of course. Like that's who I would work with. Uh, too short. You know what I'm saying? That I, I would love to work with too short. I love to work with Missy Elliott as a female. Just some of the O's. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's 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 where I, it would be like that. Um, I like to bring shit back. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's where music is. It all recycles around. So not that I wouldn't want to work with some you know some newer artists and stuff like, like, that, like but yeah, I'd love to see if I had to pick somebody for you to work with. I would pick Drake for it. I wouldn't. Why? If I was gonna pick somebody that I know I could get you to work with. And it will be dope. It'll be like probably. It'll be. I've been thinking. You already rap, so it'd be like the Rez Deshaun or T Rail. Oh, I mean, I know T Rail. I was on the show with him. No, I'm talking about work with him. Like yeah. something to where it's gonna it's gonna make sense to me. Yeah. To where it's gonna be something dope project, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you, I got you. Because, yeah. cause I think people, like I said again, the work, the I consistent just music, the, I, you know I'm what I'm saying? I'm talking about somebody that just bring something else out of you. Like I feel like Drake would just bring something with him, especially. You talking about Drake? Be, yeah, no, not Drake. 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 Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that's a not Drake. No, brain. no, no. 
You want somebody that can help create. Nah, it's just something somebody that brings something that, that that is like not even a different something that that we wouldn't even expect. You know what I'm saying? I already know me. I know my style. My style. I think but, anybody uh, when but, you look at the goats like that. When you look yeah. at Jermaine Dupri. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's he gonna, gonna bring something different. And when but, you look at um, Timbaland. Yeah, I mean, Pharrell. I work with him. Them too. Oh, of course. Pharrell to bring some out of you that, that you ain't you. But look away. If you did you see the Super Bowl, look at all, all the things <laughs> that Drake is like, But I guarantee yeah, you yeah, if yeah. if you took and no, put no, 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 yeah, Timberland, I, I, you, you can put not, a Timberland yeah. up there, you got you can put a Kanye up there. Yeah. And you're gonna get something that's gonna be crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm being real, like you got some dudes that can really bring it, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Zay Tobin yeah, dope. I talked to Zay Tobin before. Zay Tobin dope, but just that creativity yeah. he talking about, yeah. that's, for me, Zay Tobin make beats. I'm talking about, he yeah. talking about a whole, something that's going to change your life, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, if, you, if we trying to pick out of somebody, you know what I'm saying, that's that's where I would be. But as far as me of how I feel, like, if I was just going artist for art, not like producer, you know, artist, I mean, too short, stuff like that. That's that's kind of my that's, dope. that's my flaw. I'm, I feel like that's what I am of Dallas. That's like dope. that's how I feel like. I, what do you think about man? I know people hate to hear me say this because I'm a Southern cat, but Birdman and uh, 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 Slim and working with them and, and we're, we're working with Birdman. With, and I'm Slim. talking about far as on a project. Could you? Do you I mean, think? Do you think y'all can make a hit? I can make a hit out of anything. Like I don't, I don't necessarily need no one to make a hit. That's no, what I'm I talking do. about make a um, just being in the booth and being around, you know, certain people and like minds. Yeah, of course I'll make a hit with anyone though. But I'm gonna make the hit. Like I'm gonna make it. Yeah, that's just I. I hear give me a good beat and I'm gonna I'm gonna lay down the hook and then from the rest of there it's a wrap. It's over. It's over. I like that. Cause them, boy, you know, I I just think about people that then came up through they ram. You really ain't just. I look at diversity, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? How can you work with everybody? That's what makes nah, you a I great. Work, I can work with anybody, man. The thing is, I'm gonna bring the best out them as they uh, me too. So I, yeah. I know I can work with anybody. But that's just where I was saying, like, if it's if I had a choice to pick, and everybody's, it don't matter. You can choose Drake. If Drake don't market it, your song, then it ain't gonna matter at all. Mm -hmm. People go pay him a million dollars for a feature, and Drake don't market it. Like you got to market it yourself. I don't think Drake. I don't think Drake marketed uh, the Migos song. Nobody markets nobody's song. You see what I'm saying? Me. Nobody's going to give you no market. I think Migos, when that first popped, when that song came out, that but Versace. they have a team. They got a label. They got something to market behind. That whole went there, stupid. So and, if you're an independent, you got you could have a million-dollar feature with Drake, and it could be on SoundCloud. <laughs> That's really what it could be, unless you know how to market it. <laughs> who the hardest? Who the hardest? Uh, Drake name marketed Septo. Huh? Drake name marketed Septo. It don't matter. How is it going to matter? Like, it's not going to matter. I'm telling you, it... I'll put Drake on on some. It's not unless Drake puts it on headphones and plays it on his thing. Then it's gonna go viral. You know what I'm saying? But it, if you just got a song with Drake, it don't matter who you got a song with. It, unless it's marketed, it ain't gonna matter. It matter. You can tag it and do everything. It's not gonna do nothing. People like, I'm telling you, it won't. You gotta know who. You gotta know how to get it out there. You gotta know how to to get it out there. And the label now. You got a song. The label and be like, oh man, that's a hard song with Drake. The label. I agree. You gotta know how to get that thing out there. What you think? It's easy for me. Oh man, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so, what um, you, how you gonna market it? I just pull up on anybody. I don't care where you. I right, Google you and pull up on you. You gonna pull up on Drake? Yeah. I right, see if I can get the location. Yeah, I pull up on him. Yeah. I, mean, I ain't gotta get to Drake. I can get somebody close to him. Yeah. All you gotta do is put me in a position. I go to him if I want to. That's if I want to. But that's that's the whole thing is that they want to market it or not. Just because you pull up don't mean somebody gonna market it. But they gonna pull, hey, if I get that close, that means yeah. I'm, I'm in. Well, if you don't got that close, be, you got the feature, you. right? You know, if what I get saying? that close on where I need to be at. Then. Yeah, but just don't do the feature unless they agree to market it. That's the whole point. That's the whole point. <laughs> get it in contract. They show sure enough don't be like, wanting to do hey, nothing, dude. I'll give you a million, man. Yeah, like, I expect what, this be marketed. Guess what, though? I got a current man with me, so the contents, everything. Yeah. I mean, there you go. It's just putting the content in the right exactly. hands. So you're telling saying? me if I sit there and, and try to market my song to all of these people and I'm recording all of these, somebody's going to grab it. Yeah, yeah, that depends if Drake didn't do it in the studio and sent it over to Listen, you. Listen, Drake ain't got to do it. I can go to somebody else. I can go yeah. to somebody else's label. Somebody's going to pick me. If I can get all my content mm -hmm. and go into all these labels, somebody's going to grab me eventually. Now the label's going to say, hey, do you have that song cleared? That's all they're going to care about. Is that song cleared by Drake? And then they're like, okay, you got to hit. 
How much did you pay for a feature? Most you ever paid? Most I ever paid? Uh, I guess it would be really with Erica, really. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. I ain't gonna ask you how much because you said you gave the person. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that would probably be the most, really. But, I mean, it's not, a, to me, I, it's not all about the features, really. It's just putting the right person on the song. You know what I'm saying? That fit it. And so with that... Watch you work, watch you twerk. You know what I'm saying? Like that whole thing is a female song, is a twerking, you know, song like that. I was like, from Dallas, I need a hard ass female. Who am I gonna pick? She the you know hardest. What I'm so I, why not put her on it? So I she don't think nobody perfect. go harder than her in Dallas. No, nah, she's just gonna have a hard, hard career going under the Megan thing. That's the 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 worst thing for her. You know, what she I'm the saying? hardest out of Dallas yeah. that that. Had, that's on a level now lyrically she that yeah yeah dallas she is that one um she just all oh, well, no matter what she don't even do she don't compare to Becky. it don't matter they're gonna say she flow the same she thought the same she looks same she thought you know what i'm saying that's gonna be the hardest thing nobody she gonna don't, do. don't okay. look like me i don't i don't think so neither but you know what i'm saying like that's what hated people gonna do though. nobody like, don't rap like megan and they always yeah. trying to compare female rappers the same like they always trying to compare yeah them. i and mean they, they megan got compared to other people too you know what i'm saying like but now because of the 1501 and that, that that's all that it's really flings yeah, that, that's that, that it's like she 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 there. Who do you think is uh dang she hard though. Mm -hmm. Girls be hard, man. Megan hard. Megan oh, that yeah, new yeah. one that new album Megan got out, that thing smash. It go hard. I love to see the, I love to see her, her yeah, she get down, man. Yeah. <laughs> she gets down. Yeah, um so. ain't ain't really ain't nobody really Ain't nobody messing with her right now. She in her own zone. Now, lyrically, ain't nobody lyrically can mess with my girl, Nicki Minaj. Yeah. And Nicki uh, ain't doing any of that, but really right Did you hear what I said? Yeah. If she yeah. want to rap. Oh, yeah, she want to, yeah. Ain't nobody. Yeah. You can't not rap her. It's going to be hard. Because she going to sing. She going to do it all. Lyrically, it's hard to, it's hard to get around in bars because she been around Lil Wayne now. Yeah. She ain't trying to hear it. Go in there and write, come out with a hit. She gonna eat. She gonna eat, nigga. Yeah. Cause she been challenged every time. You know, repetitious yeah. high. Oh yeah, yeah. Who you in the studio with matters, doesn't? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. What do you think about um, uh, when you look at the Atlanta Rico charge that these boys them been fighting? <laughs> When you go to Atlanta, yeah, yeah, how you can I feel? Totally now. perfect, and everything you can do, and they want you, they want you. They've been holding that stuff for years, <laughs> <laughs> so you know what I'm saying. Like I don't know, man. It's staying. Yeah, it's, they want it's you, pretty, they want you. Man. It's, 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 yeah, it's pretty. It, it's a pretty it's hard bad, charge. But the thing is, too, is, is like you gotta leave well. Once you get there, you gotta leave well enough alone. You know what I'm saying? Just leave it alone. Hey, I still mess with you. There might be some money in the mail, but you don't move like I move. You think they getting uh, out? They they, they trying to set an example, huh? bro. They might. What you I, think? I, I don't know about maybe Gunner might. It's not no federal rico, it's a state rico. Gunner might. They done had fourteen people flip, right? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, like that unless they all disappear. Hey, that's how Damn. you do it. That's really how you do it, though. If people smart, if you smart enough. Hey, there was some bikers here. There was like 50 or 60 of them here. Waco. I know yeah. what you're going to say, though. But, but blacks are, are so crazy. All of them, but it's the way you can do it. Because Boosie did it. Yeah. I'm not saying that. Not flip. A his way. partner flipped. And yeah. then what, what happened when he went to trial? Yeah. There, there, there is a way, trust me. There's I know. I'm, just, I'm telling you a way. They just yeah. ain't getting it. Yeah. If they get this, they'll be smart. Yeah. Just look, look at Boosie did and you'll get off. Mm. All of them can flip, but look at Boosie did and you'll get off. You will get out. Wow, mm -hmm. I don't know what the hell Boosie did. I don't even. I don't even it, ain't, know it ain't what he did. Is is what the person that they yeah. said did. It's like, bro, he said he was gonna snitch, but he didn't snitch. Wow, it's crazy. Um, there's a lot of things that happen on social media. Um, the other week, I seen one of our famous rappers on the ground in the fetal position, getting punched oh, like hell. Man. Um, <laughs> yeah, I gotta ask these questions, about. man. Yeah. Uh, so, do hey, you think you people this. can come back from situations like that in their career? Yeah, because that that's how I, from the zero I've seen. Like, I was at a show and he went off on a on a security dude. You know what I'm saying with Mike and <laughs> Zero don't play. I'm telling you, like Zero don't play that. Like, 
I, he he about it. So, but you got if you're looking at a video after the fact, you got three or four people surround you and stuff like that. Like I I wouldn't say I ain't nah. Uh, that's not no one on one. You, he, he, so you seen when he got on his feet? There was a whole different thing. It was a whole different thing when he got on his feet. But he's still one man against four, three or four. So, okay. So it's hard to hard to win. Get around them blows. What would you have done in that situation? You asked me. What you have to kill done. me, really. But I told you that. I would have done. I would have grabbed one of the motherfuckers and choked the shit out of the ass and let the other beat me up. That one on the ground's gonna feel me. At least one of them's gonna feel me. Yeah, I got laying for the beat my ass, but it just depends if you got hit from behind and then you on the ground. It don't and matter, whatever. But I'm a grab one first. But I'm just telling you, like, I mean, I've been in a point to where I never had gotten the ground, but me and my brother fighting seven, eight people at one time. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta get it and get it and get whatever you can get. You know what I'm saying? Now right you, there. Y'all trying to swing at uh, more than one person. I'm just no, gonna grab that one person. I, no, it's is swinging, they, grabbing, they whatever. Coming. It's like they you're gonna die too fast, today. Right? You got to make somebody know. And once you knock one or two of them out, then it's like okay, all right. We now they ran, and then somebody came up busting. We jumped in the truck. Never mind. We ain't going out there. But I ran. Uh, I so ran. You don't see what you said. You, y'all swung at more than one person. I'm not swinging at well, one person. One person only. No, I'm, I'm just hitting and connecting. I'm going and to going grab, the next one. I'm not doing that. I'm grabbing I that swung one person. At one and person, token. and I I was fighting ten. I was fighting that one, and all of a sudden it seemed like the whole club was closing in on me, and I took off running. Mm -mm. I ain't doing I it. I had no other choice. I ain't doing it. I had to run. I'm not you doing ever it. ran? No, sir. I've you ever ran? Never ran? I've never had to. Like, no, I wouldn't say I didn't because I when, when the shots rang out, I jumped in the truck, and then I came back. I don't back. know that guns. You know that. But I ran and got in my car, and I had to leave, bro. Mm -hmm. no For real. Way. I was like... Nineteen. It was a lot of times I had to run like at the club when they be shooting and I didn't know where it was yeah, coming uh, from. I ran. You, I mean, you got to get yourself out of the situation. Yeah, I got you there. But I'm talking about not running from, but running from a fight. But like, it just depends. Like when when I when we got in the fight and it was like seven against two. Like now nah, we was like, hey, we in this. My nephew was in the truck. He was gone. Yeah, hey, nobody, so, nobody but, helped me. Yeah, bro. but I don't Everybody know. Everybody said I, they were with me. Three, they, they didn't help me. There's three F's. Else we I, lost I, like I don't hell. Worry about that. You know what I just? <laughs> there's three F's right here. If you can't, you know, when you too fucked up and you drink too much, and I always be I was straight. drinking too. If you can't fight yourself out of situation. You can't flee and you can't fuck at the end of the night. You out of there. So you got to be right here. Always and on point. I ain't gonna lie to you. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the situation. I'm not even gonna put myself in that situation. So I already know if something's gonna go down. I'm, I'm peeping game and I'm, I got my back. I don't even like sitting like this because I like my back to the room. Like I'm you, watching. you know what I'm saying? That what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'll be over you and notice me glance a lot of times. I'm always just watching. No. You know what I'm saying? It depends on who I'm with, though. Like, if I'm with a person I know they don't do nothing, I'm not going to put myself in a position for me to do something to somebody. No, I know he's not going to help me at all. So you don't, you, don't you ever know put yourself in a situation. You even know. think he will help you. Don't put yourself in a situation. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you like this. Don't trust nobody. Because if you ever been in a position where you thought you would do A, B, or C, and then position happened five years later and you did F, like, you were like, Situation happened. You did something totally different. You thought you would do. So if you can't trust yourself, how am I going to trust somebody else and depend on him to be rocking with me? I had my homeboy. It was a Golden Glove boxer in four or five years, and we get into it, and he gone already. No, I, um, man, Dallas P. I know we, what's the new project that's coming up. We got a new one. Me and Little Ronnie is called Real or Fake. So it's, it's your that's ass, good stuff real or right fake, there. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, your ass can really? I get on that song? I need can to get on that song. Is Lil Ronnie Mother? We're gonna make a we're gonna make a whole remix. That's what we need to do. Is Lil uh, Ronnie Mother? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, so it's uh oh, you know what I'm saying. So we got basically that's the squirt. We're gonna do a marketing thing with it and we're gonna do a TikTok kind of challenge for it and make it real simple and then we're gonna do that one. We're gonna drop it and then basically that won't be simple, you know what I'm saying? Have a girl twerking and then turn around, you gotta try to guess if the ass real or fake, you know what I'm saying? So, nope. you know, but the the squirt is like, I try to, like I did a I did a TikTok kind of like challenge and it ended up, you know, C4S, they ended up doing it. And uh, I got to thinking about it cause they got like seven, 800, you know, different uh, people doing the TikTok and there was six years old doing it and there's 60 year olds doing it, but I, it's not something I would do. I don't dance. I make money moves. So how am I going to do a TikTok challenge that I won't even do myself? You know what I'm saying? So uh, I got to thinking and I'm like, man, Erica said a clever thing. She's like, I'm like, well, I want to watch you, watch you work. She's like, watch me work. So, and that's where the TikTok thing cuts out. So what I was going to do is basically 
I'm going to do a watch you work challenge. And so what it is, instead of a dance, is it could be boss talk sitting here behind the desk right here, just being boss talk. Watch you know what I'm saying? Work. Watch you work. You can be at the gym, watch you work. You know what I'm saying? Get fly and a bitch going out to the club, watch me work. You know what I'm saying? So uh, be out in the field, somebody work, watch me work. You know what I'm saying? So uh, just the city, the see how it is. So what the thing is, is like, <clears throat> if you look at the song that Erica had that went viral, it's like, uh, it's busted. A girl wakes up in the morning. She could be at pajamas, have a bonnet on. It don't really matter. But she just has to take two second video of her, you know what I'm saying, before she got ready to go out to the club. And then she, of course, of course, go to the club. She drops it low in front of a long mirror. And then every girl thinks, oh, I can do that. Now everybody can do dance moves. Or even if they can, they don't necessarily want to. So it's just make it simple for the consumers. Like, hey, I could do that. So that's what I'm trying to do now. It's like when I get my stuff marketed and get to the TikTok ready, it's like make it simple. What's your uh, Instagram? How can people get I am to? Dallas P on every platform. Oh, I every am Dallas platform. P dot com. I am Dallas P everything. I am you Dallas P. You on Twitter? P. On Twitter, on everything. Already. Uh, man, thank you so much for coming on the show. As always, we love you. It ain't the last time. Every time a project Already, go, yeah. I got to get you and uh, Lil Ronnie over here together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll for be sure, live, sure, man. Yeah. That, that, that one's about to go, too, yeah. Already, man. Thank you so much. We love you, Dallas you P. Me, man, for real. Man, Already. it's been another great segment. Uh, yeah. A boss talk 101. I swear, man. What a boss's talk, man. Dallas P came in and blessed me. Holla at your boy. It's a unique hustle.